Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. I am here at the heart of Singapore district business. <laughs> Just sitting down for a while. Been going to and fro to the heart center. And so dropping by here for a while. And thank you, Father, for this wonderful time for me to be able to just sit down here for a while and thanking God for your goodness and faithfulness hallelujah oh we praise the Lord we glorify your father we magnify your Lord thank you and hallelujah Jesus you are worthy of glory and honor and praise father yes you're so good Lord you're so awesome you're so wonderful it's busy in here but thank you, Lord, at the midst, midst of business, business area. Young girls there are dancing. People are walking around somewhere there. And actually behind this area, which I am sitting down. But I found a place to just sit down here for a while in this, in the midst of these tall buildings. Father God, I've seen all these tall buildings, but the temple of God, which is our body, <laughs> temple of the Holy Spirit is more precious. And thank you, Father God, for this nice place. Singapore National Day is past approaching. So look at that. It's uh, Singapore's birthday. And that's the MRT where I alighted station underneath of that one is the MRT station hallelujah oh I praise you God and I glorify your father thank you Lord for this wonderful day wonderful night thank you Lord for Singapore this country is such a blessing to me oh father hallelujah Jesus we praise you Lord we glorify you oh God you are worthy of glory and honor and praise uh, father yes so, so good lord yes so awesome you're so wonderful sprankling is sprankling with our nation since 1965 the nation of singapore <laughs> thank you lord for this country hallelujah jesus and uh, i'm going down there later on to you you are my healer I look to you you restore my soul I look to you Jesus Redeemer for all who look to you will be made whole yes father god for those for all who look to you father will be made whole amen amen thank you father and uh, let's continue on reading god's word now hallelujah we will be continue on reading God's word in the book of Daniel. Now we will be reading Daniel chapter um, Daniel chapter 7 I think. <laughs> yes. Father thank you. Jesus we enthrone you. Yes Father. We proclaim you are king, yes God, standing here in the midst of us, yes Lord. We raise you up with our praise, hallelujah. And as we worship, build your throne, yes Lord. And as we worship, build your throne, hallelujah. And as we worship, build your throne. Come, Lord Jesus, 
and take your place. Come, Lord Jesus. Take your place. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ka mga mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word now in the book of Daniel chapter 7. Father God, as the read your word, help us to understand. Give us, Lord, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O Father, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Father God. Come, let's carry on reading. Okay, today is actually August 7. It says here that, Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Isaiah chapter 64, 64 verse 8. This is the day to let the potter shape the clay. Ask the Lord to help you accomplish that which he has in mind for you to accomplish with your life. Don't fall short for his expectations for you. Um, the future is yours. It belongs to you. And with faith in God and in, your, and in yourself too, no hills too high, no mountains too tall, for with faith in the Lord you can conquer them all. Amen. Indeed, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. With faith in the Lord we can conquer them all. And it says here also that, Hallelujah, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 2 to 3, Honor your father and mother, that is, that it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Wow, thank you Lord, amen. Let's honor our parents, <laughs> Hallelujah. It says here that our lives are enriched by honoring the ones who give us life. Amen indeed. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise the Lord. We glorify your Father. We magnify your Lord. Come, mga mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word now in the book of Daniel, chapter 7. Father God, as we read your word again, help us to understand, Father. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, o God, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name. The name above all names we pray. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Father. Come on, Mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word. Daniel's vision of four beasts. Earlier, during the first year of King Belshazzar's reign in Babylon, Daniel had a dream and saw visions as he lay in in his bed, he wrote down the dream, and this is what he saw. In my vision that night, I, Daniel, saw a great storm churning, churning and surface, the surface of a great sea, with strong winds blowing from every direction. Then huge, four huge beasts came up out of the water, each different from the others. The first beast was like a lion with eagle's wings. As I watched, its wings were pulled off and it was left standing with its two hind feet on the ground like a human being and it was given a human mind. Then I saw a second beast and it looked like a bear. It was rearing up on one side and it had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth and I heard a voice saying to it get up devour the flesh of many people then the third of this strange beast appeared and it looked like a leopard it had four birds wings on its back and it had four heads great authority was given to this beast then in my vision that night, I saw a fourth beast, terrifying, dreadful, and very strong. It devoured and crushed its victims with huge iron teeth and, 
and trampled the remains beneath its feet. It was different from any of, of the other beasts and it had ten horns. As I was looking at the horn, suddenly another small horn appeared among them. Three of the first horns were torn um, out by the roots to make room for it. This little horn had eyes like human eyes and a mouth that was boasting arrogantly. I watched as thrones were put in place and the ancient one sat down to judge. His clothing was as white as snow, his hair was like his hair like purest wool. He sat on a fiery throne with wheels of blazing fire, and a river of fire was pouring out, flowing from his presence. Millions of angels ministered to him. Many millions stood to attend him, and then the court began its season, and the books were opened. I continued to watch because I could hear the little horn's boastful speech. I kept watching until the mouth beast was killed and its body was destroyed by fire. The other three beasts had their authority taken from them, but they were allowed to live a while longer. As my vision continued that night, I saw someone like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. He, appear, he approached the ancient one and was led into his presence. He was given authority, honor, and sovereignty over all nations of the world so that people of every race and nation and language would obey him. He rule, in, he rule is eternal and he rule is eternal, it will never end. His kingdom will never be destroyed. Wow, that be the Jesus. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, the vision of Jesus coming from the clouds from heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's carry on reading. The vision of is explained. Okay, let's carry on. See how it is explained. I, Daniel, was troubled by all I had seen. And my visions terrified me. So I approached one of those standing beside the throne and asked him what it all meant. meant. And he explained it to me like this. These four huge beasts represent four kingdoms that will arise from the earth. But in the end, the holy people of the Most High will be given the kingdom and they will rule over forever and ever. Then I wanted to know the true meaning of the fourth beast, the one so different from the others and so terrifying. It had devoured the crushed and crushed its victims with iron teeth and bronze claws, trampling the remains beneath its feet. I also asked about the ten horns on the fourth beast he'd and the little horn that came up afterward and destroyed three of the other horns. Um, this horn had seemed greater than the others and it had human eyes and a mouth that was boasting arrogantly. As I watched, this horn was wagging, uh, was wagging war against God's holy people and was defeating them until the ancient one the Most High came and judged in favor, in favor of His holy people. Then the time arrived for the holy people to take over the kingdom. Then He said to me, This fourth beast is the fourth world power that will rule the earth. It will be different from all the others. It will devour the whole world, trampling and crushing everything in its path. Its ten horns are ten kings who will rule that empire, then another king will arise different from the other ten, who will subdue three of them. He will defy the Most High and oppress the holy people of the Most High. 
he will try to change their sacred festivals and laws and they will be placed under his control for a time and times and half a time. They will be placed under his control for a time, times and half a time. But then the court will pass judgments and all his power will be taken away and completely destroyed. Then the sovereignty power and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven will be given to the holy people of the Most High. This his kingdom, his king, his kingdom will last forever, and all rulers will serve and obey him. Mm. That was the end of the vision. I, Daniel, was terrified by my thoughts, and my face was pale with fear. But I kept these things to myself. Wow. We will continue on reading tomorrow on chapter 8. Father God, thank you Lord for your word. Thank you Lord Jesus for the vision that Daniel saw. Give us more standing and give us, give us Lord Jesus, oh God, uh, revelation and understanding. Spirit of wisdom and revelation and understanding about what Daniel saw that we will be prepared for it oh god and also lord hallelujah thank you father god because this the, the coming because as my vision continued at night i saw someone like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven and father god lord i know we know that jesus is coming again coming down from heaven hallelujah and he is our hope jesus is the only way the truth and the life he already actually uh, came uh, to save us and God himself sent Jesus hallelujah to die on the cross for us so that we can be saved and go to heaven with them we will be with them him in heaven forever and ever his kingdom will last forever and ever amen hallelujah oh thank you father God for sending the Lord Jesus Christ my fellow God's beloved if you do not know the Lord Jesus yet hallelujah the Lord is, uh, hallelujah, the Lord is actually inviting you, Jesus himself, inviting you to come and receive him as our personal Lord and Savior. And so, if you want to receive him and be with him also forever and ever in heaven with him, uh, you may receive, you may pray this prayer with me to receive him because God loves you and me for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life and God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us and it is only Jesus the only way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but through him we all have sinned and fall short for the glory of God Romans chapter 3 verse 23 and so we need a savior which is the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah come let's receive him Lord Jesus I need you thank you for dying on the cross for my sins I open the door of my life and receive you as my savior and and Lord I repent of my sins thank you for the forgiveness of my sins and giving me eternal life make me the kind of person you want me to be amen my fellow God's beloved if you pray that prayer from your heart then Christ came into your, your life your sins were forgiven you became a child of God you received eternal life you began the great adventure for which God created you amen amen hallelujah thank you father Lord it's we are so blessed oh God Lord to be called children of the most high God amen amen thank you mga mahal for reading God's love letter with me May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. We praise you, Lord. We glorify your Father. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I look to you, Jesus Redeemer. I look to you, you restore my soul.